making his way to the blue corner, Rocky Cantu. Rocky Cantu is going to start things off here. Now, this is the vacant lightweight title here at Tough Enough Amateur Fighting Championships. He'll be the first guy to enter this cage at 9-3. and three. He's got a lot of fights under his belt. He's out of Extreme Couture here in Las Vegas. They've been represented very strong here tonight, and it looks like they're having a good night. Let's see if Rocky Cantu can keep it going. Goes. What did he fill out? Tell me a little bit about Rocky Cantu. Well, at his frame, he's, he's probably got some of the uh, the best beard in MMA. <laughs> the fighters weren't very cooperative, were no, they? With their they were. <laughs> but I see some writing on some of the guys. Is that the next guy? Yeah, we don't have one on him, actually. All right, well. If he's at Extreme Couture, we know he's well-trained. And uh, he'll be cornered by Dennis Davis. I see Jimmy Jones there, tough alum. Now yeah. a pro fighter, he's there. I've seen Eric Nixick here tonight. The uh, Extreme Couture team running pretty deep tonight. It is. See Ryan Couture out in the crowd. He's got a big fight coming up. He's also a tough enough alum. Sean Date. Sean Date, Gracie fighter, dojo in Newport Beach. Same gym as Matt Alfonte, so he's going to try and get one back for that gym. Again, SoCal won, Las Vegas won if you're keeping score. There's four fights involving SoCal fighters and Las Vegas fighters. Let's see what happens between Sean Dante and Rocky Cantu. Sean Dante now entering the prep point here at Tough Enough. We'll be underway here in about 90 seconds. I've often wondered, uh, GSP's his favorite fighter, George St. Pierre. We haven't seen him in action in a while. But I've often wondered, when you have a favorite fighter, i got to imagine it's because you see some things of yourself within that fighter. I wonder if his fighting style is going to be mixed out at all. Takedowns? Perhaps. Yeah. Well-timed takedowns. That's what I think of when I think of GSP. Bill, did you have a favorite fighter growing up? Yourself, Mark probably, Coleman. right? Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, Mark Coleman's a stud, man. Kevin hey, has anybody too. checked up Everybody on Mark like Coleman since he had that uh, hip surgery about right. a year or two ago? He's doing, okay. He's doing good. That's great. That's great. All right, so into the cage is John Dante. We're going to set it up. The next the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds, all for the Tough Enough Lightweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with nine wins and five losses. Fighting out of Extreme Couture right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, Rocky Cantu. His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with four wins and one loss. Fighting out of Gracie Fighter Dojo, Newport Beach, California, Sean Dante. The referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Mark Smith. Rocky Cantu with the camo tights. Sean Dante with the black trunks. And if I never see Rocky Cantu's ass in junk again, I'll be all right. He's done pull-ups in front of us, <laughs> bent over in front of us. <laughs> kind of Rocky Cantu'd out. No, I'm just kidding. Uh oh, speaking of the junk, look like Sean Dante may have connected, but apparently not because Cantu's continuing there with a single against the cage. Now he's attacking the foot. Let's see what he might have there. Come out the back door. Might get triangle there first. Yep. Trying to finish double leg. Lightweights here going for the vacant title. Dante back, excuse me, Dante back to his feet. And Cantu uh, working on a slam to the ground. Dante went for a ride. Nice double leg tackle. Yep. But I love the fact that Rocky was able to hold on there. Now he's got some good position. Yeah, Dante almost got up, and Rocky had a block on that. Good job getting back to his feet, Dante. We go college wrestling. Get back up, wrist control, back to your feet. Turns on the fence. Good job. Referee Mark Smith, the third man in the cage here. At Tough Enough Amateur Fighting Championships, this is where the future stars of MMA get their start. Gorgeous George and Ghost from MMA Junkie Radio on the call here. If you're enjoying the broadcast courtesy of Flips, hit us up on Twitter at MMA Junkie George, at the Ghost. 
Phil right. on Twitter. Nice You're at Phil down. Baroni? At Phil Baroni. Nice takedown. Hashtag it at Tough Enough. Shook him off. Look at that. Face planted him. Went high with his butt. Hips up high. He's oh, he's attacking the arm there. Up cat Steps two. Steps over. He's got all over safe. the place. Great defense there. Seventy-five seconds left here in round one. Now take it his back. And this is a title fight, three three-minute rounds. Once again, Rocky Cantu with the tights, the camel tights out of a uh, Extreme Couture here in Las Vegas. Sean Date, Black Trunks, Newport Beach. Date looks like he's breathing a little heavy here. He's kind of had to carry uh, Rocky's weight on him for a while. And the action stalls here against the cage. Don two with a couple Charlie horse punches to the thigh and then he dumps him again. Except Dante's attacking, excuse me, Dante's attacking that neck. I don't think he's got it though. No, he steps out of the side control. Yep, slick work by Cantu. Walks right around the squad, good job. Now he's in side control with 10 seconds left in this first round. Those two big slams might be the difference, huh guys? Yeah, and I think Cantu's definitely got the momentum here. He sure does. I think he's going to be the fresher fighter. I uh, I noticed, I think it was Phil that said it. Dante was sucking wind. Still got two more rounds to go. My unofficial scorecard has Rocky Cantu up 10-9. I would think you guys would agree with me on that one. Yeah, I got to agree with you there, 10-9. The takedowns, the control. It's all about momentum here, and I think Rocky's got it going into the second round. Here we go, round two, underway. And two going straight up the middle. Good right hand. All of Anderson. So, oh, big right hand by Dante. He also was met with a, a kick to the body, and he landed in top position there. Steps trying to guard again. On Cantu. Cantu's tough, though, man. Look at him. Already going for a single himself. They've had some fun little scrambles. Two doubles. They sure have. He does, Phil. He does get a double on him, and now he's on top. Let's see what Dante can do. Out. Good job. Mount. He's past his guard. Rocky he has Mount or the back, top. whichever he wants. You know, Dante's had his moments in the fight, but it seems like Rocky just counters. But he's got an answer for everything. Here. Yeah. And I think he's better off ground and pounding here than actually going for the submission. I agree. And he's doing it. Even his cornerman, Jimmy Jones, is saying, finish him off. Dante's not going to give in. Dante escaped that back position there by driving off the fence. Was it? Off his back. Hey, posture up. Look at your posture. Look at your posture. Hey, trap that arm with your head. Two left arm, trap that arm with your head. Keep going. Still in uh, half guard. Trying to deliver some ground and pound. Phil, what does Dante have to do to get out of this right He's now? He's got to get his, his right underhook. He has to get an underhook. And hip escape that side. The defense now is blocking him. He's got that arm trap now. Yeah, he's not blocking like that. That's the one way to block. He's got to keep his back and explode up now. He's got his legs free. He's got to explode up now. Cantu blocking him there with that quarter guard on his leg. He's explode up. Not worry about the legs. It's a funky position there. Dante yeah, may take his back. Now scramble. they're back on the feet. Drives him back in, secures a double leg, and has a takedown. Yep, 50 seconds to go. Let's see what Dante could do. He needs to win this round so he can take it's it into the scrap. third. At an even score. Hard foot round. Both guys exchange this double leg to take down by himself. It can too, he's just got a motor, doesn't he? He does. He's going to wind up in the coveted top position there when the round ends. Impressing the judges. And the mount now. He took that mount. Yep. Arm triangle choke attempt. Two 
too short a time, I believe. Rocky Cantu and Son Daddy. Well, good work there by Rocky Cantu. Sean Dante not breaking, not giving in just yet, but he is down two rounds to nothing in my scorecard. 20 to 18. You know, aside from his skills, the one thing I'm impressed with Rocky Cantu is he's been listening to everything this corner's been telling him. He sure has. I keep waiting for somebody to ask him to knock uh, his opponent into tomorrow. <laughs> Referee Mark Smith gives them the green light to start round three. Oh, nice big right hand. I think he caught him a little bit, but Rocky Cantu right back to that wrestling. Back in top position. He's had an answer for everything. Side control. Good position. He's yeah. trying to put knee on belly. Watch him trying to put his right knee on the belly. And you guys, I don't know if you know this, but they're working right in front of the Pancrase contingent. Want to welcome them to Tough Enough. Those two gentlemen are from the Pancrase organization. Former home to uh, Boss Rudin, Nate Marquardt, yeah. Frank Shamrock, Ken Shamrock. Front end Tiger White. That's right. Rocky can too, trying to get a hold of uh, Sean Dante's neck. He's given up on that. Dante looking for a single. Cantu Good just sprawl too takes the back. top. Nice. Good hit pressure. What I sense is that Cantu wants to finish this. And I think if he grounds him, ground and pounds him, he may get it. Especially this in the side position. choke attempt again. He's not, the, he's not a fighter that's interested in just getting a 10-9. I think he wants to go for a finish here. He's definitely the fresher of the two. You know, you brought up Vernon Tiger White. For the longest time, I thought he gave Chuck Liddell his best fight in that run. He did. That was a good fight. All right, now he's in the side control. Let's see what he can do with this. Trap the arm. Sean Dante wanted to go for a single, but he was blocked. Rocky Cantu grabbing a hold of his neck, controlling him more than anything. Now puts him up against the cage. Cantu with the camo tights. Dante with the black trunks back to the ground. Double leg. That he might be a wrap there, folks. He might have to change his last name to Can Do because <laughs> that's his attitude tonight. You are correct, Goes. I think he's going to walk away with the title here, barring some miraculous finish with 20 seconds to go. This is the third of five title fights here to end the great night of fights at the Cox Pavilion on the UNLV campus. And of course, Tough Enough is going to be back on March 12th with an offering in Mesquite, Nevada. That should be a lot of fun. That's the end of the fight, folks. Lightweight title at stake here. Sean Dante gives a pat on the backside of Rocky Cantu. And if you can read into that, I believe he was congratulating him. He will be our new champion here at Tough Enough. Yeah. <laughs> Loves you. Oh man, he's giving me half a lap dance already. <laughs> I feel like reaching in my pocket, and just handing him, <laughs> putting away. ten bucks in his. Take away, ten, yeah, ten bucks in his tights. Just say, all right, I'm good, man. Let me go. <laughs> he still looks like he could go another two rounds if he had to. Yeah, his gas tank on him. it all here at Tough Enough, including selfies. The Extreme Couture gang. Oh, man. Digging it. 
times. I don't know changed. if I can be part of a gym that does selfies. Let's set it up to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three round war, we have your winner by unanimous decision and new tough enough lightweight champion, Rocky Cantu. Rocky Cantu, the new champion here at Tough Enough at the 155 pound division. He's that getting awarded his belt by new partner at Tough Enough, Brian Lindsay. He purchased a significant share of Tough Enough, and now he's partnered to Jeff Meyer, the CEO. They plan on taking this thing. Winner, Rocky Cantu, what a war. Man, it went all the way, three rounds, and you look exhausted. You want to thank anybody out here tonight? Um, yeah. The first thing I'd like to thank is good Lord um, for putting me here and like, like give me the chance. And uh, I'd like to thank my whole, my whole Extreme Couture family, Dennis and Joel Casimir, Jamie Huey, my friends Justin James, and, uh, and everyone else, this guy too, sure. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you back in the cage defending your belt. We'll see you at the after party. Ladies and gentlemen, your top of lightweight champion, Rocky Cantu. Rocky Cantu goes to 10 and 3. He's the new lightweight champion here at Tough Enough. Amateur fighting championship, Sean Dante goes to 4 and 2. We'll be right back. We're going to have another title fight coming your way. 170 pounds. That's the welterweight division. Patrick Branch versus Kevin Crane.